Hello everyone! Welcome back to Callie's Corner on Unfiltered Gamer. I'm Callie and today we're talking about tips for learning board game rules so you can learn and teach games like a pro. So these tips are just my opinion. You can take some of them or all of them into consideration as you're reading and learning how to play new board games. I've read hundreds of rule books and even written and edited a few. So I put this video together, hopefully help you out. And if you find anything, you know, that you want to use and incorporate, please consider liking the video and subscribing for more Callie's Corner videos here at Unfiltered Gamer. I really appreciate it. And let's get to the tips. First and foremost, when you're learning a new board game, I recommend reading the rules by yourself first. So don't get everyone all excited and ready to come to the table and read the game rules out loud to them verbatim. It's sure to, at least in my experience, put a few people to sleep. There's, it's just not gonna be comprehended and you're gonna have to be going over and over the rules again and again and you don't wanna do that. It's okay in my experience to read board game rules out loud in short bursts. Like when you're, you need to go reference the rule and debate it and contest what it means. But reading the entire thing out loud is, is not really productive, especially if the game is a little more in depth or has some strategy to it. All right, you got the board game out in front of you and you're ready to dig in by yourself. Uh, first, I recommend really looking at the components. So take everything out, make sure you have everything either referencing the back of the box or the rule book to make sure that you got everything and really touch all the pieces. It's gonna help you kind of identify which pieces are which, and you may even start formulating an idea of, oh, okay, this is, these are these and these are these, and this is kind of how this game is gonna be laid out. Now, actually taking out the rule book, going to, I recommend first, actually reading just the section titles or the little subheadings of each page. And that's going to help you see where different parts of the rules are in the rule book. It's going to make it a lot easier to go back and find those rules and also get a little familiar with the structure of the game. So these different subheadings might include things like the introduction to the game, the objective and how to win, components, the setup, the player actions or player turn order, a round or phase turn order, some more details about actions or card interaction, and finally, of course, how, to, how the game ends, when and how, and if there's any kind of scoring mechanism, how to do that. And really great board game rules at the end will also have some sort of appendix, more details about cards or iconography, and maybe even a sort of quick start guide or cheat sheet that you can use. Like I said, getting familiar with the rules is gonna help you not only know where to go later when you're trying to look up rules or remember the rules, but also help you identify what kind of game is this? How long is it gonna take? What's kind of the level of complexity? What maybe you even ask, what other games have I played that are similar to this? And you can kind of draw on your knowledge of those mechanics from previous games. And that's really going to help you learn the new game and see the differences in that mechanic and how it plays out. Now, before you dig too deep into actually reading and digging into the rules, I recommend setting up the game first. What this is going to help you do is help you act out some of the scenarios and examples you'll find in the rule book. It's also going to help you visualize how the game is going to, how it's going to start, how the turn orders are going to go, how the player actions are going to go, and you can even on your own create some more scenarios and examples, moving pieces, pretending, acting out a turn or two to see the consequences of those actions and what might happen here and find all of those common scenarios before they happen in your game group. This actually leads me to another point in this discussion, which is videos that explain how to play. I think this part, seeing the game laid out, seeing some of the sample actions taken is actually what makes people like to watch board game rules uh, explanations via video video it's you can visualize everything there you can see how the different actions are playing out and there's someone talking to you 
in you know colloquial conversational terms rather than the more maybe rigid or academic terms from a rule book. To get the most out of watching videos, I really recommend still setting up the game and even doing some of the actions that the person on the video is doing as well on your end. Creating that muscle memory and visualizing it in your own space is really going to help you understand those rules and translate to being able to share those rules with your other players. And if your game is more rare, maybe you backed it on Kickstarter or it's an older game and you can't find a how to play video anywhere, look for review videos. A lot of reviewers will actually explain how to play in at least a little detail, sometimes very detailed, pretty much the entire rules and go through those same kind of mechanics of a how to play video. They'll show you how to set up the game and the different, uh, all the different, pretty much all the different rules, which is great. Definitely recommend checking out the videos here at Unfiltered Gamer. All of our review videos are also pretty much how to play and go through the rules pretty comprehensively. Finally, now that you've really gotten to dig into the game rules, act out the scenarios and examples, and you feel like you have, you're starting to get a pretty good understanding of the game, I recommend, especially if the game doesn't already have one, creating your own player cheat sheet uh, or quick start guide for the rules. This is gonna enable you to use your own language, start developing your own language for how to talk about the game, remember certain key points that you wanna remember, and help you in your mind think about how you're going to describe the game to the other players and introduce them to the game. I hope these tips were helpful if you were trying to read and learn and teach a new board game. Uh, and if you are writing rules or editing rules, I have a few extra tips for you. Definitely look at some of the great rule books that are already out there. Really understand how they're structured, how they're formatted look at rule books maybe that are have some similar mechanics or strategy or weight to your own game to see how those uh how you can be inspired by what they're doing there some of the rule books to look at i definitely recommend include everdell which really is a, has a lot to the game but really spells out and sections out the rules really well five tribes has some of the best examples that I've seen rule books use, as well as great visuals for showing off the pieces and how they interact. And I love their player reference guides because it actually has all of the, some of the different cards on there and descriptions so that each player doesn't have to be fighting over the rule book for that. In addition, I like Tidy Towns for just the graphic imagery, uh, it is a very detailed book, rule book, but I think it does a good job overall and the layout and the huge example of how to set up the game. As a bonus tip, some rule books may have a story introduction or a thematic beginning to the rule book. I do encourage you to read this part out loud as you gather everyone around the table. It helps kind of set the scene and the mood for the game, adds a little fun to the flavor, especially as sometimes as you get going into the rules, it could be a little tedious or take a little while. But remember, you can always add back in some fun. And yeah, games are all about having fun. So just remember to be patient with your fellow players as you're explaining the game rules and have fun. Thank you guys for watching all of my tips about how to read, learn, and teach new board game rules to other players. I hope this helped a lot. And if you have any tips of your own, please leave them in the comments below. In addition, if you're curious or interested in learning more about writing and editing board game rules, please let me know. Maybe we'll do a follow-up video on that. Uh, just let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to like the video and subscribe. I really appreciate it. It really helps uh, get the information out there and share and build the board game community. Thank you guys for watching another Unfiltered Gamer Callie's Corner video. I look forward to seeing you guys next time.